Hello? Are you out there? Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, it's just a very simple get ready with me, okay? I'm bored, you're bored. Let's waste some time together, shall we? This is just a simple get ready with me because I'm gonna actually get ready for like the first time in two weeks. <laughs> I just wanted to play with makeup, okay? I have not put makeup on my face in like two weeks. So by the time you're seeing this video, I am rounding up week three of quarantine or self-isolation or state-imposed isolation, whatever you want to call it. It's been three weeks here that I've been working from home full-time, which was supposed to give me more time. Did it? No. Almost three full weeks of quarantine. Quarantine! Not corn teeth. Quarantine. So I don't know about you, but I kind of like it. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of an introvert's dream, right? Like, I have to stay home. I can't leave my house. How terrible. So part of the reason that I haven't been putting on makeup is, you know, one, laziness. And like, why bother if you don't have to? And then the other reason is, you know, I, I was having some serious skin issues. Um, I do plan to talk about that in a video, but I want to do a little bit more research. This is the wrong color. No, I need to do a little bit more research before I talk about the skin issues just to make sure that that's what I'm doing and that includes doing some test patches, which is what I should have done from the start. But how are you guys doing? Is everybody pretty much working from home? I mean, except for the folks that can't, you know? And if you can't, if you're someone who is performing an essential function, if you're working in a pharmacy, if you're working at a supermarket or a big box store, or in a hospital or emergency response or any of that, you know, hats off to you. You know, let's all open our windows at seven o'clock and scream into the wind. Or, you know, just clap. <laughs> so I thought for a second that I was gonna be deemed an essential worker because when all this stuff started to really pop off, um, the leadership in my office wasn't really talking about this the way that things have played out. They were just kind of like, yeah, we just have to be smart and da 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 da. That doesn't really apply to us because reasons. Within a day or less, they're like, yep, full-time telework. Everyone, go home, don't come back. In my previous position, you know, at my same job, I used to have a regular telework day. It's the best thing ever. Because, you know, get work done without your phone ringing or, you know, people just popping by your desk and asking you stuff. You know, you know how that stuff goes. So I really enjoyed my one day telework because I would use that day to kind of like catch up on my email inbox or work on tedious projects that need a little bit more, you know, attention or quiet, stuff like that. So it was a really good catch up day. So when I was told that we're gonna go to full-time telework, I was like, hot dog, this is awesome. I didn't think it would necessarily be easy because you know, the work still has to keep going, but I didn't think it was gonna be like this, dude. It's relaxed in that I'm wearing sweatpants. <laughs> the same clothes for days, days on end. The work, I mean, I might as well just be at my desk in the office. It just is not stopping. It's like nonstop. I feel like it's gotten worse, like it's ramped up. So, I mean, poor me, I'm doing it from sweatpants at my dining room table. I, I fully understand how ridiculous that sounds, but like, I think part of it is just that. I need to find a balance because the telework, um, interface for my work, um, it's overloaded, you know, because it wasn't designed for everyone to be using it at once. So it's very slow if you can even get on, you know, so there's two schools of thought. Either you get up before the sun to log in to make sure that you can get in, although it doesn't matter because once everybody else wakes up and logs in, you get kicked out anyways. Or you just sort of wait, you know, you start working alternate hours which is fine and it's effective, but that can very quickly ruin your work-life balance, you know? I need to work in some like breaks during the day. I need to work in like walking outside, like just step outside and just take some breath, sit on the porch, go up to the patio or something. I'm like a vampire <laughs> staying inside my house. <clears throat> also, while we're talking about telework, can we talk about conference calls? Conference calls are not new. These, these, these have existed long before everybody got sent home to work from their couches. Why is everybody acting brand new? It's like when you're on a conference call, you feel the need from your couch alone to have your phone on speaker. Don't, don't do that. Please stop doing that. Like if you want to be hands-free, use earbuds. 
they have a microphone. Also, when you're not talking, mute. Mute it. We mute it. Because especially if you're listening on speakerphone, what happens is echo. Stop. Stop doing that. Please stop. Also pay attention, you know? Sometimes your phone is not on mute, you think it is, and then you flush the toilet. We hear it. God, this sponge is terrible. It really is the worst. Anybody else have these pink Morphe sponges? Right in the trash. I need to wash brushes today. These are bad. The brushes are dirty. How do they get dirty? I have not been using them. I don't know. So I had said in a previous video, oh, I'm spending more time at home, so I'm gonna have more time. Do I though? I'm not. I really thought, like, I've been trying to vlog. It's not going well. My plan really was to like vlog during the week, have my regular content up on my regular upload day, and then sprinkle in some surprise vlogs of just like day in the life. Well, let me tell you. First of all, my life is not that interesting. Second, every time I went to turn the camera on, I look like a, like a burn victim. It's not just that I didn't have makeup on. I, I just, I looked alarmingly bad. Will that vlog ever see the light of day? I don't know. You guys are so sweet and kind about my vlogs saying, oh, we love your vlogs. And I love to make them. I'm better at doing the vlogs like if I'm on a trip. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm on vacation or out of town, like out of my house, or I'm trying to capture like a, a something, a weekend. And what I've been doing here is just kind of turning on the camera and tr just seeing what I get. There's not a lot. There's just not a lot to get. It's just a lot of me wearing the same shirt for four days in a row. <gasps> Anyone else? Okay, I'm gonna put my eyebrows on and I, I can't, I can't really talk while I do it, but maybe I'll just speed through, huh? I've been doing my eyebrows a little more soft as well. So that's an interesting turn of events. batteries is like not it's not good it lies to me on my little screen it says that it's full battery and then all of a sudden it just turns off lies all right, I know that's thrilling to watch me do my eyebrows <laughs> that's why I never show them anymore because it's boring today I think all right can we talk about what's everybody watching what are you doing with your time I mean Netflix is really getting put through its paces am I right okay Tiger King you guys okay so <laughs> Tyler and I actually knew about Joe Exotic years ago when he was running for president because we saw that clip that John Oliver had picked up and Kelly sent it to us and we were just like, oh my God, this guy is amazing. This is incredible. So we were watching all those videos. We had already seen the wedding, the whole thing. We already knew who this guy was. So when this documentary came out, I was like, bitch, get on it. So we did, man. I watched that first episode by myself and then I was like, Tyler, I'm gonna rewatch episode one with you, but let's, let's, get, let's, let's do this. So we sat there one day and watched it start to finish. It's gold. Okay, there's so much going on. If somebody tells you, you need something good to watch right now on Netflix, Tiger King, and you're like, um, I don't, I don't know. I'm not really into tigers. It's not about tigers. I'm not really into animal sanctuaries. It ain't about that either. The weirdness is so layered. I just, do yourself a favor. Okay, just watch it. Tiger King, Netflix. You know, I, I was really like tempted to do a Joe Exotic transformation like make myself into that beautiful man, Joe Exotic. I started to gather all the materials. I was so excited about it, so excited. But I didn't have everything I needed and I would have had to order stuff and that's like not really a thing right now. So I had to put that on the back burner. I know, it's tragic. Maybe I'll have it ready for Halloween. It's just one of those things like if I couldn't do it right, I didn't want to do it at all. I mean, I could have cobbled it together, but I'd rather not, you know. I look so different with like, <laughs> just a little bit of makeup on. All right, so there's something kind of funny about the psychology of all of this, right? 
you know, if somebody told me, and they have, they've told me, they've told all of us, you have to stay home, you can't go out, okay? Unless you absolutely must. And I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now I'm like, I kinda wanna go out. Where can we go? What can we do? I guess I was going out more than I thought before. If you don't need groceries and you don't need to go out, don't go out. So like, what can you do? You know, you start to feel like, I just wanna see my friends. I just wanna hang out. Like, what do I do? Do you know about Marco Polo? Marco Polo is the best. Marco Polo is a free, free. It's a free app. It's on your phone. It is um, on Android and Apple. It's super easy and intuitive to use. You're sending a video message and the other person can watch it live. You can't talk to each other in the moment. You're just like volleying Marco Poloing back and forth. So I use it all the time. I use it with my sister. I use it with Kelly. I use it with Tyler sometimes. I mean, I guess I don't need to because we're in the house together. The people that I use it the most with actually are Kate from Kate the Great Beauty and Michelle Wong and Linda from Glitter Fallout. Pretty much every day, me, Kate, and Michelle are tethered. <laughs> we are talking like 85 times a day. And it's nice though because you just record the message, send it to the other person, and then they can watch it when they're able to watch it. You know, sometimes maybe you're driving, so it's not safe. Or maybe you're in the shower, so you're not watching Marco Polo. But it's really nice because you can also re-watch it. You know, if you missed something, if somebody sent you something that was pretty long, sometimes I have to take notes because <laughs> I'm gonna miss it. And they're expecting me to like comment on something they said and I just totally, I'm the worst. But Marco Polo, man, it is coming through. I love it. I highly recommend it. 10 out of 10 would recommend. You don't have the pressure of like a FaceTime call. You know what I mean? Because you're talking and you're watching the other person's live expression. And then sometimes you get like that dead air. Like you don't really have anything else to say. So you're just like. Ooh, the other thing that I've been super into lately as a way to kind of stay connected to my friends, to my family, is I started doing like those e-gaming like through your phone. Do you remember Draw Something from all those years ago? It's still there and it's still awesome. So Draw Something is available on Facebook for free. There is also a paid version, but also sometimes I think maybe the server just gets kind of overloaded. I definitely paid my $3 and got my, my paid app. So now I'm just playing with both. <laughs> like I have multiple games going with multiple multiple people using both. I love it. It's fun. So it's funny, there's a lot of talk about like being productive and like taking advantage of all this time at home and you know, learn a new hobby, learn a new language, exercise more, all of these things. And that's, that's good, but don't feel guilty if like that's not your journey <laughs> right now. Like if, if, you're not, if you're not there, it's okay. Just get through it, just get through it. I mean, in the first couple days, we definitely had this like buzz of energy and motivation and we repainted a wall in the office. We repainted the powder room downstairs. We did all the things. It was like, oh, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna do everything. I cleaned out the closet and the bedroom or like, you know, tidied it up because it was out of control. And then now I'm just like. <laughs> like, I, I can't even, I can't even shower. <sighs> do I need to wear lashes? No. Am I going to? Yes. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, I need a little bit of eyeliner. A little bit of eyeliner. Oh yeah, another another fun thing that we've been doing. So most of my family lives far away. And every Sunday we're having a family game night via Zoom. Zoom is a free conference call app. I think they have paid features where you can use more of it, but you can use it for free. What's cool about Zoom, um, more so than FaceTime, is that with Zoom, you can have like everybody on the same screen like tiled so you can see everybody at the same time. And if you're watching any TV at all right now, that's pretty much how the news is happening. <laughs> like all the late night shows are zooming each other. Zoom is, Zoom is coming through, man. Had I known that Zoom needed investors, <laughs> I could have been a millionaire. So we all get together in a Zoom meeting and it works best on a laptop. You can use it on a phone, but you can't tile the screen on a phone. So we're playing um, Pictionary or like a revised Pictionary or something that everyone has the game or s some way that they could play the game easily even if they don't have the game. So like this Sunday we're gonna play Yahtzee. 
So even if you don't have the actual game Yahtzee, there's an app on your phone so you could, that's how you could play, but we're all playing together. We played Scattergories one night, that was fun, and we played Pictionary. Zoom also has like a whiteboard feature so you can like share your screen and you can draw with your mouse and everyone guesses and it's fun. <laughs> you know, it helps you feel connected and feels like you're hanging out even when you can't and shouldn't. All right, what to do with these lips? I think we'll just do a gloss. Hang on, I need some more bottom lashes, I think. So the vlog, well, I have a little bit of footage that I have accumulated. I guess I'll just keep going and see what happens. Maybe it'll just turn into like a vlog of the entire time. Maybe I'll take a look at it today and see if it's something that can go up. It's just like, why put it up, you know? I don't want to spend time editing a video if everyone's gonna hate it. <laughs> so this is refreshing. Man, you know, it's been really nice to not put on makeup or not feel like I have to put on makeup, but after a certain amount of time of looking like a potato with hair, it just feels good to like polish this turd a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Also my hair, it's greasy right now, which is why it's pulled back, but there's no haircuts happening right now. And also um, the hair salon that I was going to just announced that they have closed forever. A little concerned about the future of my hair, but it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. This is fine. I guess that's it for this rambling get ready with me. I really appreciate you hanging out with me today and just taking it easy. It's not a tutorial, although I will make sure to list all the products that I used today on this face down in the description box in case you're interested. I just, you know, how are you guys doing? How are you holding up? Let me know in the comments down below. I feel like as this goes on, it's gonna get a little bit easier getting into a, a better routine that includes, you know, more of my normal stuff that I'm used to as much as I can. You know, I'm hyper organized, I'm kind of a freak like that. Like I need structure, it's like a warm blanket. So when I don't have that, I just, like I don't, what to do with myself. When I woke up this morning, uh, I went downstairs and cooked an entire box of macaroni and cheese for myself and had it for breakfast. For breakfast! You know, it's airport rolls. It's like, we're, I'm making like full elaborate dinners, but like for lunch because I'm bored and don't know what to do. And then, this is actually a funny story. So like, I picked up my knitting again because I'm a grandma. Let me just wake my hands up and see if my hands remember how to do this, right? So I'm like knitting, I'm following this pattern. I was really into it. I'm not a good knitter, by the way. I was just trying to get to about halfway. Like that would have been my stopping point and then I was ready to go to bed. And Tyler was like, it's one o'clock in the morning. And I was like, no, it's not. Look, and I showed him picture, like a screen grab of this pattern that I found. The time that I was referencing was the time from the screen grab. So the more that I can get back into a routine, I think the better because macaroni and cheese for breakfast, an entire, an entire box for one person. I don't think that's, that's not, I don't think that's the right serving size. I think that wraps it up for this rambling, talking nonsense video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then make sure you subscribe to this channel before you leave. You can also follow me on the other social channels. Everything's here on the screen and down in the description box. Stay well, stay smart, stay kind, and I'll catch you next week in next week's video. Bye! All right, I'm not trying to put on a whole ton of makeup today. I just wanna look pretty, fresh. So that's what I'm doing. Hi, how are you? How's it going? You can also follow me out there. There's definitely a fuzz on this. You can see everything in the background which is why I don't use this background anymore. <laughs>